grazing the multi-species cover crops, uh, we were talking about it earlier, is that a relatively new thing that you've got? I think it is, and I, I mean, you know, that's, uh, you know, it's been a, a short period of years yep. that we've been involved uh, with that now, and I think uh, to this day we're still uh, tweaking the species that are involved in the, in the cover crop that we plant, treading to you know, and in different fields, we may have different goals as, as to what we're trying to incorporate into that uh, seed package that we're uh, using for a cover crop. How's that penciling out in terms of uh, dollars per acre and dollars on investment, say, versus a row cropping situation? Uh, depends on the year and how, and, and, and the, the, the price of... Uh, Corn, wheat, and beans, and and, Let's say and, and the feed that and, that we need. But yeah, yeah. The big thing is it works so well together. Yes. Uh, to me, that's that's the the really important thing uh, that it works so well together. We have run uh, as many as uh, eighty pair out on a field of cover crop for a month. It was a good fall. Uh, that cover crop was actually growing while those pears were. We're out on it. We uh, we turned them out, and okay. they did a they did a great job of, of uh, grazing over the right. the whole piece. Yeah. And then you went and planted that the next year in a, a row crop into corn. Okay, yeah. corn did well. Corn did very well. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. We yeah. were concerned about the compaction, yes. and uh, really had very little issues okay. with it. Residue was good. Our moisture conditions uh, were good. And uh, of course, we freeze hard, okay. and that allows uh, for for a little loosening of that yeah. uh, topsoil. As we uh, started uh, rotational grazing, no-till farming, now it's almost unusual to have much water in the dams or in the dugouts because the water is held through the soil profile. <laughs>